Are you ready to take the oath, Justice Clark? Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Neil M. Gorsuch, do solemnly swear. I, Neil M. Gorsuch, do solemnly swear. That I will administer justice without respect to persons. That I will administer justice without respect to persons. And do equal right to the poor and to the rich. And do equal right to the poor and to the rich. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me, as Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, as Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, under the Constitution and laws of the United States, under the Constitution and laws of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. I see before me so many to whom I owe so much. I know I would not be here today without your friendship and support. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank the President for nominating me and for the great confidence and trust he's reposed in me. I want to thank the Vice President for his constant encouragement and friendship throughout this process. It's not possible to mention here everyone I should mention. But I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the President's counsel, Don McGahn, and Mark Paoletta, the Vice President's counsel, and every single person in the White House Counsel's Office for their tremendous and tireless support. I want to thank Kelly Ayotte and my day-to-day -day team for their humor, for their sage advice, for their faith as we spent months and so many miles trooping together through the Senate complex. I want to thank every single person, and there are so many, in the White House and the Department of Justice who worked through so many late nights and long weeks on my behalf. I want to thank, too, Senator McConnell and Senator Grassley and their excellent teams for their support and leadership. And I must thank my former law clerks and my dear friends who gave so much of themselves so selflessly through these last three months. You are dear to me. This is truly your doing, and this is your day. I wish I could mention each of you by name, but you know who you are, and you know your names are etched in my heart forever. This process has reminded me just how outrageously blessed I am in my law clerks, and in my family, and in my friends. And I hope that I may continue to rely on each of you as I face this new challenge. To my former colleagues and the wonderful staff of the Tenth Circuit, I thank you for your faithful service and your friendship over so many years. To my new colleagues and the staff of the Supreme Court, thank you for the very warm welcome. I look forward to many happy years together. And I cannot tell you how honored I am to have here today my mentor, Justice Kennedy, administer the judicial oath, a beautiful oath, as he did for me 11 years ago when I became a circuit just judge. To the Scalia family, I won't ever forget that the seat I inherit today is that of a very, very great man. To my wife, Louise, and my daughters, Emma and Bindi, thank you for your perseverance and your patience, your courage and your love. I simply could not have attempted this 
without you. And to the American people, I am humbled by the trust placed to me today. I will never forget that to whom much is given, much will be expected. And I promise you that I will do all my powers permit to be a faithful servant of the Constitution and laws of this great nation. Thank you.